Hi everyone, my name is Herman, and today I will be presenting our work on two words automatic instrumentation by learning to separate parts in multi track music. And this is a joint work with Chris Donahue, Taylor Burke Patrick, and Julia McCauley. So, what is automatic instrumentation? So, in this uh, paper, we define this as uh, the process of dynamically assigned instruments to notes in solo music. And this has two potential use cases. The first one is at the left, we can have, say, uh, modern keyboards usually have the, uh, the functionality of zoning that you can assign different instruments so that if we can achieve automatic instrumentation, then you can play multiple instruments at the same time on a single keyboard. And this could also be used for in assistive composing tools that you can arrange solo music into different ensembles. So an overview of our project is that we first acquire pair data of solo music and their instrumentation by down mixing multi tracks into single track mixtures. And then we train the part separation model that learn to infer the part label for each node in the mixture. And finally, we can approach automatic instrumentation by treating the input as a mixture and separate out the relevant parts. So here's an example that the input of our pod separation sounds like this. And here is the output of the pod separation model. Yeah, so in this work, we have four data sets. They are with different genres and ensembles, including baccarelle, string quartets, game music, and pop music. So our data representation is a sequence of nodes that we want to uh, infer the part label, part label for each uh, note. And these nodes are specified by time, pitch, duration, frequency, and beat and position information. And we consider two types of models that the first one is the online model that you have, uh, you don't have access to the future information that you only depends on your history. And the other one is the offline models that you could have both history and future information. So here are the result that we can see that we have different uh, result for different uh, data sets. So here's a demo that we can see that how our model can produce uh, convincing alternative instrumentation for an existing arrangement. So here is the original instrumentation. And this one is the RSTN output. Model actually could provide, uh, produce very nice re instrumentation for uh, an existing arrangement. So, in summary, uh, in this paper, we propose a new task of pot separation, and we show that our proposed models outperform various baselines. And finally, we present promising results for applying this pot separation model to automatic instrumentation. So thank you, and you can learn more at this website and also check out our poster.